Well, two years ago, Hurricane Irma ripped apart the docks at Safe Harbor Maritime Academy, and some of the boats used as homes where teenagers sank. Now Safe Harbor is taking steps to be sure what happened two years ago does not happen again. On your side, Skinner Merrill went to Safe Harbor to see what they're doing to weather out the storm. Two years ago, Irma made a difference here at the Safe Harbor Maritime Academy and destroyed the docks and everything. So now with Dorian out there, they're getting ready. In fact, this boat was taken out of the water not too long ago. You can see that it's still dripping from the water. Jim Philmont is the guy that runs things around here. Jim, what are you doing to be sure you're okay? Well, Ken, we're just getting all the boats out of the water that we can, um, moving over to a yard we have adjacent to the property here, and then we're going to take the rest of the boats that can't get out of the water, make sure they have double lines, extra fenders, tie everything down, get everything that can fly away off the docks, and then we'll start moving through the property and collecting everything that can fly away. How, how many boats are we talking about? Uh, about 29 boats. 29 boats. and. Two years ago when I came out, things were really a hot mess. It was a hot mess. Uh, you've since restored the docks. You've, you've built a new dock here. In fact, uh, this is much better than what it was. Uh, will this be able to endure something if we have to go through Dorian? Uh, yes, sir. That's one of the reasons we went with this dock system is it's uh, aircraft aluminum and composite decking, so it's flexible and it can withstand 125 mile an hour winds and storm surges. Uh, it will just undulate as opposed to break apart. What a lot of folks don't realize is that the kids who are enrolled here at the academy, the boats are their homes. That's correct. They each live on a boat and are responsible for their boat. So in times like this, what we're doing is tomorrow we're preparing, Saturday we're leaving. So we're going to, uh, we've got hotel rooms and campgrounds and things around the area so we're all not here and everybody is safe. You think you better prepare this time than two years ago? I, I think so. I think that we, we're getting a head start on it. We were pretty well prepared last time, but I think what's going to make it different this time is the infrastructure. Is all everything Since everything's new, it should do much better than, than what we did before. So again, they're preparing here. They're taking everything seriously. Don't want to get caught like they did the last time with Hurricane Irma. Canamero, First Coast News on your side.